Glory Divine World Ministries is a place to call home. Come and allow God to unleash your potential, purpose, and destiny. The way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through Him and through the blood of Jesus. Because of His unconditional love, hallelujah, He sent His only begotten Son, and that is Jesus Christ, to die so He can reconcile Himself to you. Glory Divine Family. You never choose Jesus. He chose you. Welcome to Glory Divine Network TV with your host Apostle Ryan Suknanan. Let's get ready to listen to the divinely inspired Word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What an awesome day, what an awesome day. Tell your neighbor, what an awesome day to experience the presence of God and also to lift up our hands and glorify the name of Jesus. I'm excited for what God is going to do this morning. I believe there's going to be supernatural experience and I'm going to be ministering on accelerated turnaround. Hallelujah. Accelerated restoration. Tell your neighbor, Speedy, accelerated restoration. Hallelujah. Every delays, every pause, every stoppages, every uh, blockages, we are going to declare it to you. Get out of your way. The children of God is marching. Hallelujah. Say, I'm marching to victory. I'm marching to Zion. I'm marching to my possession. I am marching to Pursue, overtake, and recover all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Wonderful saints of God. Wonderful saints of God. I greet you in that mighty, matchless name of Jesus. I don't know if anybody knew. I welcome you. I am Apostle Ryan Suknanen from Glory Divine World Ministry. And I believe that you are, hallelujah, in for an awesome moment, an awesome word. Hallelujah, an awesome worship as we're just going to worship God for about three minutes. Hallelujah, and get on to the Word of God, and I'm going to pray for you. So welcome everybody that is online, the people are flooding in. Hallelujah, make sure, make, uh, hallelujah, sure that you are an evangelist uh, this morning. Share to everybody that comes into your mind. Invite people, write your comments down, because I agree. Where two or three agree on anything, it shall be done. I pray and agree on your comments. Remember, you, you are right in front of me, hallelujah. I can see people from Cape Town, Durban, Australia, hallelujah. All people are coming in right now. Amen, Durban, all over. And I believe that God is going to touch us. God is going to restore us. There's nothing impossible for our God. Say you are covered and you are backed, hallelujah, by heaven power. Amen. Let's pray and open this meeting in prayer. Hallelujah. And I believe God is going to be with us this morning. Glory to God. Lift up your hand in reverence to our awesome master, our awesome savior. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, I come to you in that mighty, matchless, awesome name, Jesus Christ. And I pray right now, hallelujah, amen, as your children are trusting you this morning, that there will be a supernatural encounter, a supernatural experience, that you will give your children revelation. Let them know, O oh God, that you are on the throne. Hallelujah. Amen. You have never changed. You're still the saving God, still the blessing God, still the provision God, still the protection God. Hallelujah. Fill us with joy this morning. Strengthen us. Anoint us. Let your glory, hallelujah, be upon us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we give you preeminence. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Once again, children of God, lift up your hands and just glorify Him. Hallelujah. As we go into your worship song, quickly, hallelujah. Amen. You just lift up your hands and just worship Him. Hallelujah. This is your day. Awesome presence of God right here. And I believe it is coming into your homes. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you are in 
for a divine encounter. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Church of God, I greet you in that mighty, matchless, awesome name of Jesus Christ. And I believe that God has a special word for you. He's going to isolate you this morning. He's going to zoom in on you this morning. Why? Because you are so special. Say, I am special. Turn around to your neighbor and say, you are special. I don't care what people has labeled you and what identity has been given unto you. Hallelujah. You are adopted, blood washed, sanctified, Holy Ghost full. Hallelujah. Justified, converted, regenerated. Hallelujah. And you are presented to God, holy and acceptable as a son and daughter of God. Glory to God. Say, that's me. Wonderfully, beautifully, marvelously created by God. Hallelujah. And God has a unique assignment for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to get into the Word of God quickly. Church, hallelujah. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Accelerated restoration. Accelerated restoration. Speedy restoration. Hallelujah. I've seen that with my eyes. Hallelujah. I've seen that in my life. And I believe nothing is difficult for God. Today, God is going to intervene in your life. Hallelujah. Say amen. Say amen. Amen is verily so. Certainly so. So be it. Hallelujah. There's going to be a dialogue between you and me. Maybe I cannot hear you, but I might hear you in my spirit because I will feel, yes, I will experience the dialogue. Hallelujah. That your spirit is connecting with God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amos 9 verse 11 to 13 and my reading is from the New King James Version. Hallelujah. And the Bible say on that day, say on that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David. Hallelujah. Which has fallen down and repair its damages. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of Edom. And all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord who does this thing, behold, the days are coming. Hallelujah. Can somebody just jump up and rejoice? Behold, the days are coming. It is a prophetic word. It's a declarative word. Hallelujah. It's a decree upon you. It's an affirmation and a confirmation of the word of God. The days are coming. Your new season is coming. The days where your story is going to change is coming. Hallelujah. Glory to you. And the Bible says, and the days are coming. Hallelujah. Says the Lord. When the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the threader of grapes. Hallelujah. And this, this is shocking. Hallelujah. And the threader of grapes, him who sows seed. The mountain shall drip with sweet wine and the hills shall flow with it. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I get on, hallelujah, deep into the word of God, let me go into a little background to establish a foundation here. Hallelujah. In the might. If God allows, I might preach this next week. Hallelujah. But I want to get the message across to you what the Lord is speaking. What is the now season word? What is God, hallelujah, speaking in the atmosphere? Glory to God, glory to God. In the context of the scripture, we see that King Jerobo, Jeroboam wanted Israel to be divided, hallelujah. Amen. Remember, the enemy always bring division in your home. Hallelujah. Mother against father, father against mother, son against parents, wife against the husband, husband against the wife, children against the parent. That is the works of the enemy. But I am here to pronounce the days are coming. Tell your neighbor, the days are coming. Hallelujah. Of an overflow, of an increase, and of peace in your home and peace in your life. This is going to be more declarative than anything else. And if you say amen, and if you write it down, hallelujah, I'm going to pray over it and it shall be so. Glory to God, hallelujah, amen. So this King Jeroboam, hallelujah, introduced idol worship in Israel, hallelujah. He did not want the people to go to Jerusalem and sacrifice to the true God. 
Remember, in life there is always opposition, always persecution, always trials and tribulation. Hallelujah. Always stoppages and blockages. Amen. It's a spiritual thing. Tell your neighbor, it's a spiritual thing. Write it down. It's a spiritual thing. You cannot see the devil, but the devil can see you. But today the eyes of your heart, of your understanding shall open up and you shall receive revelation. Hallelujah from God and you shall receive discernment from God and you will know the schemes and the tricks of the evil one and you will be an overcomer. The days are coming and I believe the appointment is today. Write it down. This is my appointment day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the opposition came from the king himself to stop people from going to church. Ha 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 ha. Can you hear what I'm saying? Can you hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. The opposition came from the president itself that time. Hallelujah. To stop the people from going to church and worshiping God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So what happened? Israel started to backslide. Whenever the church doors closes, hallelujah, people starts to backslide. Hallelujah. Division enters. Hallelujah. Chaos enters your home. Hallelujah. Lukewarm and apostasy enters your home. Amen. This is a now season word which the Lord has given me. Hallelujah. He who has an ear, hear. He who has an ear, hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can somebody just, hallelujah, take a chiller break right now. Amen. Hallelujah. And lift up your hands and say, praise God. I will worship God. I will go and worship God. Nothing will be able to stop me from worshiping my Savior. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Israel started to backslide because the highest power, Stop them from going to Jerusalem and to worship and make sacrifices. Hallelujah. Amen. Later, Israel together with Judah and Jerusalem, hallelujah, became domini domi dominated by the Assyrians and by the Babylonians. Whenever you take God out of your house, whenever you take God out of your life, whenever you are stopped to freely worship God, hallelujah, the Assyrians and the Babylonian, hallelujah, is a representation of the enemy. Of John 10.10, 10, he comes to steal, he comes to rob, he comes to divide, he comes to murder, he comes to steal your joy, he comes to steal your peace. They come and invade your home, they invade your life. At this moment, at this season, how many Children of God has backslided. How many homes has disintegrated? How many homes has divided? Hallelujah. And the enemy is plundering you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. For years, God sent faithful prophets. Hallelujah. Amen. To warn the children. To warn the children of God. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. It is time to rise up. It is time now, hallelujah, to overcome what over, is overcoming you, hallelujah, amen. It is time now to overtake what is overtaking you in the name of Jesus. It is time now to trample the works of the enemy under your feet. Shout divine restoration is coming. God will enable you. Keep with me, keep with me. Hallelujah, Muni Balega. Hallelujah, Muni Hadloop. Don't run away. God is going to speak to you and now season word that will revolutionize you, that will shake you, that will shift your thinking. And again, once again, restoration shall come to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So they never heard to the prophets, the prophets that was rising and say, rise up, rise up, muni bang viasni, hallelujah, muni bekomer viasni, muni wari ni, God is backing you with heaven's power. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. They refused to look for God for direction. Fear gripped the hearts. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody now that feels so uncertain and feels so helpless and feels so hopeless and has this fear gripping your heart? I'm here to tell you, hallelujah, fear is not of God. Hallelujah. You are allowing another power to dominate you. 
Allow God's Spirit to dominate you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, when we look at the scenario, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here, kick, 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 moi. Hallelujah. Amen. Whenever you allow the enemy to dominate you and dominate your life and dominate your home, whenever you take instruction from an evil power, hallelujah. Amen. Your house get messed up. Your life get messed up. Your destination gets aborted. Your purpose gets aborted. Hallelujah. Amen. So King Jeroboam stopped the children. Hallelujah. Amen. To go and worship the true God. Church was closed. Hallelujah. Doors were closed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So what happened? What was the result? Hallelujah. The rich got corrupted. Read the passage properly. Hallelujah. Go home and study the chapter. Hallelujah. They took advantage over the poor. They exploited the widows. Hallelujah. The poor borrowed money and couldn't pay the rich and they sold themselves as slaves to the rich. The oppression grew bigger. Hallelujah. Why? Because there was wicked rulers. Wicked rulers. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The religious leaders were judged because they were permitting idolatry because the re religious rulers, some of the religious rulers were bought by the leaders. They called themselves Christians. Hallelujah. But they were not Christians. They were bought by the rulers of the time. Hallelujah. God was not sitting on the throne of the heart. Hallelujah. But greed was sitting on the throne of the heart. What? God was not sitting on the throne of the heart. But greed was sitting on the throne of the heart. The political leaders were judged. Hallelujah. For refusing to follow God's instruction. The wealthy were judged for their greed and their abuse of power. I'm here to tell you God is intervening. Hallelujah. God is intervening in your situation right now. God is intervening in South Africa right now. God's eyes are upon His people. Hallelujah. God's eyes are upon His remnant. And the Bible says, Hallelujah. Amen. The plowman shall take, Hallelujah, over the reaper. There's going to be a speedy restoration coming. Hallelujah. A speedy, a divine, accelerated restoration coming from the hand of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we look at the judicial leaders at that time. We're judged because of the abuse of the justice system. Hallelujah. All this has happened. Amen. All this has happened biblical type and is happening now also. Glory to God. They became more and more materialistic than spiritualistic. Hallelujah. It was always about money. It was always about money, not about morality. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The poor was forgotten. They were pushed aside. Hallelujah. They were pushed away. The rich accumulated more and more for themselves. Hallelujah. And in the midst, listen, Leicester Moy, in the midst of this chaos, hallelujah, in the midst of this confusion, in the midst of this idolatry, corruption and wickedness, God stepped in and God promised restoration. Hallelujah. And I'm going to shock you right now. Come on, come on, come on. Let's hear more. Hallelujah. Muni hadluopni. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm enjoying this word. Hallelujah. And I know you are enjoying this word because it's coming from the heart of God, coming from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Listen to what pro Prophet Ezekiel says. Hallelujah. Many of you have read that Bible. Many of you have read that scripture, but you have never ever went deeply and understood what God was showing the prophet Ezekiel. Hallelujah. God was showing the prophet Ezekiel exactly the situation I'm talking about in Amos 9, chapter 11, verse 13. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 to 3. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 to 3. Leicester Moy. It is the same story that God, hallelujah, amen, took Ezekiel to a valley of dry bones and saying, look, cake no, all the dry bones. This is how, hallelujah, Israel is right now, amen, scattered everywhere in their brokenness, in their hopelessness, 
in their helplessness. Hallelujah. But I am going to step in. I am going to bring divine restoration. I'm going to bring accelerated restoration. Can this ever be fixed? Hallelujah. Can this ever be fixed? And God is stepping into your life right now. You disintegrated. You feel hopeless right now. You are unemployed. There's no food in your cupboard. There's no money in your bank balance. Hallelujah. Everything in your home is disintegrated. It's like, hallelujah, so dry and brittle like it's going to break. And God is stepping in and he's going to ask you, can the dry bones live? Can Israel come out of this situation where they turn their back against the true God? Can Israel, where the rich is oppressing the poor, where the justice system is not, hallelujah, amen, law abiding, where the, the political people has turned their back unto God, where the, even the highest and the highest, the king is stopping the people to go to, go to Israel, go to Jerusalem and worship me. There's chaos, there's confusion, there's as wickedness can these people the dry bones live hallelujah hallelujah and listen to what God says he steps in he steps in hallelujah and in Ezekiel 37 verse 1 to 3 he says the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out into the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones representing the condition of Israel, representing the condition of your home, representing the condition of your life. I said to you, this is a now season word given to my, me, my God, hallelujah. I don't have to preach long. If you can just grab this word, hallelujah, restoration is coming to your home. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And set me in the midst of of the valley and it was full of bones then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were dry hi hallelujah and he said to me son of man can these bones live they were dry they had no life hopelessness helplessness hallelujah prevailed in israel hallelujah amen and maybe in your life right now, helplessness and hopelessness is prevailing right now. Everything is so dry. Hallelujah. And you're thinking to yourself, will I ever make it? Will there ever be a turnaround? Will I ever get healed? Will my marriage ever get restored? Will my family ever get reconciled? Will my future be bright? Will I ever get a job? Will my business ever survive? Will, 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 will. It's so dry. Hallelujah. Amen. And God takes Ezekiel and say, Son of man, can these bones live? I have word for you. I have a word, say that's for me. Your dry bones has an ear to hear. Hallelujah. Your dry bones has an ear to hear. Your dry bones is waiting for you to prophesy. Your dry bones is waiting for you to decree and declare the word of God because God said to Ezekiel, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Let those dry situations hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. And I declare that your, your situation is changing right now. I decree and I prophesy over your life to death situation. Hallelujah. I prophesy that your winter season is over. I prophesy, hallelujah, supernatural encounter. I prophesy favor be your portion. I prophesy turn around coming to your door. I prophesy favor like a wave and like a tsunami hit your home. I prophesy, hallelujah, your shame will be turned to fame. I prophesy disgrace to grace. I prophesy disappointment to appointment. In the name of Jesus, there's going to be a turnaround right now. I pray, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost power take control of your life right now and the anointing destroy every yoke of bondage. Glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah.
So the Valley of Dry Bones was a picture of the nation of Israel and Judah. Hallelujah. Scattered dry bones. Spiritually dry. With no sense of purpose. There was a stagnancy. There was a situation. Hallelujah. Where they had a giving up spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. As the Lord Amen. Took Ezekiel and, and gave him a vision of the dry bones. Hallelujah. And God said to Ezekiel, prophesy. God wanted to show the prophet his plan of restoration. God wanted to show his prophet Ezekiel his plan of restoration for Israel. And today God wants to show you through his prophet as a stand here. Let me repeat it again. God wants to show you. Through his prophet as a stand here. The plan of restoration in your home. The plan of restoration for South Africa. In the name of Jesus. Children of God arise. Children of God arise. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. I've been prophesying for 30 years. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not a prophet that lies. Hallelujah. I don't prophesy lie. I don't prophesy lie. I prophesy. Hallelujah. The word of God. What the Bible says. Hallelujah. And it comes to pass in the name of Jesus. I've got over a thousand congregation and a thousand congregation will tell you I have prophesied on their lives. I have prophesied for people getting married. I even described the girls that they're going to have. I even gave them the dates. Hallelujah. I have prophesied when the child will be born. I have prophesied whatever you need. Hallelujah. I have prophesied the exact kind and the color of a house. I have prophesied all those things. Hallelujah. But I don't take glory. Amen. I don't waste time on that. Hallelujah. I only prophesy when the Lord says me to prophesy. And now I prophesy the word of God. As God brought Ezekiel and showed him the restoration plan of Israel. I prophesy over you. The remnant of God. That those that are watching me right now. Those that are going to watch. Those that are holding on to Jesus. The remnant of Christ. Hallelujah. Restoration is coming. Divine restoration. Accelerated restoration. Glory to God. Glory to God. Today I want to prophesy. It does not matter what hallelujah. Amen is wrong in your life. Who said what about you? What you have been through. Hallelujah. But when God takes over. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter your location. It doesn't matter your education. It doesn't matter your upbringing. Favor will restore you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amos 9 verse 13. Amos 9, verse 13. I'm not going to be long with you today. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to continue this next week. Amos 9, verse 13. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him who sows seed. The mountain shall drip with sweet wine and all the hills shall flow. Hallelujah. With it. What is God saying to you? Child of God, children of the Most High God, Leicester Moy, Hallelujah, Muni Warini, don't worry about tomorrow. Put your hand in the hands of God, Hallelujah, and allow Him to direct you day by day. In the name of Jesus, fear not, fear not. If God made ravens to feed His prophet. If God brought down manna from heaven, yes, the days of manna has stopped, but also the days of labor has stopped. Because when Adam and Eve sinned, hallelujah, labor came into the world, curse came into the world. You got to work out of the sweat of your brows. But today God can give you uncommon wisdom to make money. You don't run after money. Money runs after you. And I pray today, hallelujah. What is Amos 3 saying? What is Amos 3, Amos 9 verse 13 saying? Hallelujah. Amos 9 verse 13 is talking about accelerated restoration. Divine speed in the name of Jesus. The ground, listen to me, listen to me, Leicester Moy, hallelujah. Remember the ground was cursed. 
The ground was cursed because of the disobedience of our generational fathers and mother. Hallelujah. But when Jesus' blood fell on the ground, come on, somebody, somebody needs to jump up and glorify God. When Jesus' blood fell onto the ground, hallelujah. And when you accept the power of that blood, that curse is canceled. Hallelujah. The ground becomes fertile. And that is what, hallelujah, right here the Bible is telling us Amos is a minor prophet. Um, this is prophetic. Come on, somebody. This is prophetic. This is prophetic. This is declarative upon your life. Hallelujah. Because Amos was a minor prophet. Hallelujah. I'm not worried about people calling themselves major prophet and major prophet. Uh, minor and more major prophet was in the Bible. And if you want to qualify as a major prophet, hallelujah, become like Isaiah. Become like Jeremiah. And I want to see what you write. I want to see what you prophesy before you can fit into the shoes of a major prophet. Jeremiah was a major prophet. Isaiah was a major prophet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. Hallelujah. My people perish because of the lack of knowledge. My people perish because of the lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. Amen. So what are we seeing here? The same cursed ground. God is saying, hallelujah, amen. There is divine restoration coming because I'm going to cleanse the ground. I'm going to bless the ground. While you are planting your seed, the fruit is already starting to bear. While you are harvesting, the next crop is already growing. While you're drawing out money from your bank, there's money flooding in. And the Bible say the plowman will overtake the reaper, meaning the money that is coming into your bank is overtaking the money you're trying to spend. You go buy a house and the money comes back into the bank. You buy a car, the money comes back. That's divine restoration. That is the plan of God. Hallelujah. There is no recession in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'm going to believe this word. I'm going to accept this word. I'm going to declare this word. Grace has me covered, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. The land, hallelujah, that my feet is trending is blessed. The land where my feet is treading is holy. The land where I'm, my feet is treading is blessed by the hand of the Lord. And there's no more curse on it, hallelujah. The land that I'm tilling is fertile. There's no rocks on it. There's no weeds on it, hallelujah. Because my Lord has already cultivated it. My Lord has already planned it, hallelujah. My Lord has already provided it on the cross. The provision of the cross. Hallelujah. Shout the provision of the cross. Before the reaping can be finished. The next crop is already. Already ready. Hallelujah. Come on church. It's time to, for increase and overflow. God is saying in the midst of chaos. I am going to touch my remnant. In the midst of wickedness. I am going to bless my remnant, my chosen, those that are holding on to me, those that never let go of my garment, those that are focused on me, those that are still praying to me, those that are still reading my Bible, those that are still evangelizing, those that are still witnessing, those that are still sharing my message, those whose feet is anchored on me. Hallelujah. I'm going to come and I'm going to overflow the blessings upon them. Hallelujah. Say, that's me. That's me. That's me. Can somebody shout restoration? Can somebody shout multiplication? Can somebody shout productivity? Can somebody shout overflow? Can somebody shout increase? Can somebody shout abundance is on my way? Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. So, the book of Amos, and I'm closing. Hallelujah. I'm only going to do two close now. Hallelujah. You should be knowing me by now. Those that are listening to my preaching for 30 years knows it very well. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. The book of Amos, listen to me. Hallelujah. Has nine chapters. Nine chapters. The first eight and a half chapter deals with a whole lot of issues. Deals with chaos, deals with corruption, deals with wickedness, deals with apostasy, 
deals with the prayerlessness of people, deals with people backsliding, deals with the, with, with, with the rule of the king to stop people going to church, deals with all these things. Hallelujah. Amen. So what happened? There was a total disconnection. Because of what was happening, there, became, there came, arose a time of total disconnection between Israel and God. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody who is disconnected? Am I talking to somebody who feels disconnected from the Lord because of situation? Hallelujah. They drifted far away. And it was God. Listen to me. It was God who initiated Hallelujah, the restoration, the love of God. It was God who sent his son, Jesus Christ, amen, to choose you. It was God's grace, hallelujah, amen, that made you whole, not your own works. You should boast. It is God's grace that gave you the gifting. It is God's grace that you are sitting in a house. It's God's grace that you can listen to me while I'm preaching. It is God's grace that you are a minister. It is God's grace that you can sing. It is God's grace that you can play an instrument. Today, lift up your hands and say, it is God's grace. And I'm appreciative and I'm praising God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And listen to this. People drifted away. But God's love was unconditional. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, Hallelujah, in the ninth chapter, in the ninth chapter, come on somebody, in the ninth chapter, say the ninth chapter, say the ninth chapter, come on somebody, again, ninth chapter. Nine means new beginning. Nine means birthing season. Come on, you, you, you're not listening to me. If you have only listened to me and caught a revelation, you should be jumping right now and writing the comments like it's going out of fashion. Eight and a half chapters was talking about the chaos. But the ninth chapter, the ninth chapter, the birthing season, God steps in. Hallelujah. God steps in and says, restoration is coming. Restoration is coming, hallelujah, to the fallen house of David. To the fallen house of David. God will repair the broken pieces, hallelujah. God will restore the ruins. God, hallelujah, amen. And out of it a new nation will be born, hallelujah. This nation will be more stronger and more powerful. Hallelujah, lift up your hands and say that I'm rising up. Lift up your hands and say restoration is coming to me. Lift up your hands and say everything that the devil has stolen, hallelujah, seven times, 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold is coming back to me. Lift up your hands and say that I will buy my house. Lift up your hands and say that I will drive my car. Lift up your hands and say that I will carry my own baby. Lift up your hands and say that I will have that godly husband and godly wife. Uh, lift up your hands and say my home is going to be restored. Hallelujah. My marriage is going to be restored. Lift up your hands and say my business shall be productive. My career shall be fruitful. I will complete that degree. I will write that song. Uh, hallelujah. I will write that book. Uh, I will become so and so. The money shall come to me. Provision shall come to me. Lift up your hands and glorify the Lord and say, I will be whole. I will be healed in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Can I prophesy as a close? That is very important because I'm closing. Hallelujah. I prophesy you. And your family will march into new blessings in Jesus name. You will possess new territories. You will break every limitation and every barriers, every stoppages and every blockages, every constraints and restraints will be moved out of your path because not about you. Listen to me. It's not about you. It's only because you call unto God. It is only because you never stop praising God. God is intervening right now. Hallelujah. I prophesy every enemy parking against your progress will be silenced in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus. Rejection will be turned to acceptance. Demotion will come, hallelujah, become a platform for promotion. Every good thing that wrongfully disappeared from your life will miraculously appear in the mighty name of Jesus. Every storm challenging your peace will come down. The impossibilities will become possible. A new song will be upon your lips. Dancing and rejoicing shall come back into your home. You will receive new grace to excel and walk in prominence. New doors shall open up. Great men shall call your name in high places. You will receive new strength from above. Hallelujah. You will receive new zeal and passion to pursue purpose once again. Glory to God. You shall not be idle anymore. Procrastination will be a thing of the past in your life. You shall not be idle anymore. Everything that is divinely ordained for you shall pursue and overtake you. Hallelujah. You will not fit in anymore, but you will stand out. You will be like the cedar of Lebanon. Hallelujah. You will become attractive because of the anointing that is coming upon your life. Uh, doors will open without labor and effort. Hallelujah. Receive this upon your name. Receive this upon yourself and say, Amen. I believe in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. God promised Israel restoration. Restoration is coming to your home. It will get more interesting next week. Hallelujah. Because I'm still in the foundation. Hallelujah. And God is going to speak to you. There's going to be change. Hallelujah. Say there's going to be change. There's going to be change. There's going to be change in my life. Hallelujah. Starting from today. From today, start praising God. Starting from today, lift up your hands and say, Divine restoration has come into my home because God has intervened. Hallelujah. My brokenness. Hallelujah, shall be healed. My rejection shall be healed. My emotional wounds shall be healed. My past shall be erased. A new story, a new chapter is being written in my life. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. What I've been through, I'm going to be like David. I'm going to use it as a CV. Hallelujah, to use it. Hallelujah, amen, for strength and power. Amen, as a stepladder into the future. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Let me pray for you in the mighty. I pray you are blessed. Hallelujah. I pray you are blessed. I pray the glory of the Lord is upon you right now. I pray the anointing of God is hitting you like, hallelujah, like a tsunami right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that you cannot see is being broken, is being destroyed. Chains are being broken. Shackles are being released. Hallelujah. Prison doors are being opened right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I bring as I lay my hands upon everybody that is here right now online, oh God. I pray for deliverance. I pray for restoration, divine restoration, speedy, accelerated restoration. Lord, I pray for the past to be erased, oh God. I pray for emotional hurts to be, uh, to be erased. I pray for abuse to be erased. Hallelujah. I pray for financial blessings spiritual blessing, hallelujah, emotional blessing, uh, uh, material blessings, hallelujah, family blessings in the name of Jesus, business blessings, career blessings, hallelujah, from every side let it flood, as you say the plowman shall overtake the reaper, hallelujah, let there be an overflow and abundance, let there be increase in their homes, oh God, let there be peace and joy in their home, I prophesy that over, hallelujah, all the declarative prophecy that I gave right now, it shall come to pass, seal it with your blood, hallelujah, Hallelujah. I pray and I seal it with your blood in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Share this message once more. You feel somebody that needs to hear this message. Share it. Hallelujah. I'm going to be praying over the comments again in the name of Jesus because I watch my sermon. Hallelujah. Every sermon that I preach, I watch it because it ministers to me. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray you are blessed. I pray the shalom peace of God has visited your home. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. You are set free. You are a child of God. Restoration has knocked at your door. Favor has entered your home. Walk like a child of God. Talk like a child of God. Dress up like a child of God. Act like a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are a child of the highest King of Kings in Jesus name. I leave you. I love you. Hallelujah. Let us meet on Tuesday, seven o'clock. Amen. Uh, I pray the love of God, the peace of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Walk in favor in Jesus' name. God richly bless you. The shalom peace of God be upon you.
We invite you to become a partner in our global ministry which is touching lives and transforming situations all over the world. When you become a partner, you are investing in fertile soil and the Lord will richly reward you with heaven's best. Church banking details are on the screen. And if you'd like to sow a seed of honor, directly deposit it into Dr. Ryan's personal account. For e-wallets, apps like Cash Send, Standard Bank Instant Money or any other instant cash services, kindly use our church WhatsApp number to send the voucher number as well as collection pin. Because when you sow in good soil, indirectly your money is going to places where you cannot go. When you partner with the Kingdom Vision, God will make sure that your needs are provided for. So sow your seed today.